A pandemic that wiped out sea urchin populations in the Red Sea is spreading to parts of the Indian Ocean, and scientists in Israel say it could go global. The impacted sea urchins are well-known protectors of coral reefs, and their deaths put the already fragile reef ecosystem in even more peril. They are like the lawnmowers of coral reefs. They reduce the algae and allow corals to thrive and um, photosynthesize with sunlight. The seaborne pandemic was first noticed in the Gulf of Aqaba in 2023. Scientists say they have since identified the pathogen behind it through molecular analysis. Zoologist Omri Bronstein says the pathogen kills fast and violently. Colonies can be lost in just two days. We already saw these signs of mortality occurring, not in the Mediterranean, but in the northern Red Sea, from which it spread very quickly throughout the region, and actually what we know today, even beyond the Red Sea. The pathogen seems to be heading east towards tropical waters of Southeast Asia and Australia's Great Barrier Reef. I fear at the current situation, this is the trajectory. So this is where it's going. I wouldn't be surprised if we will soon get reports from other parts of the world. Affected sea urchin species are described as the lawnmowers of coral reefs because they remove algae that otherwise block sunlight, allowing the coral to thrive. In the Gulf of Aqaba, no other creature has taken over that role and Bronstein's team is already seeing extensive growth in algae cover. Bronstein says there is no way to stop the disease, but he says there is still a chance to create an isolated population of sea urchins that could hopefully be reintroduced later on. The team is now cooperating with scientists across the region to map the pandemic and gather more information. I think when it comes to fixing or healing the oceans, we should be, uh, we humans should be a bit more humble. It is beyond our capabilities to heal the oceans. I think that we should concentrate instead of limiting the damage that we cause. Both alliances held meetings today, first the BJP-led NDA alliance.